This is the latest part of Kristina Timonovskaya's journey from athlete to dissident. Her dreams of winning Olympic medals for Belarus are long gone. Now the prize she wants is asylum in the EU. By criticising her team's decision to make her run in an event she'd never contested before, she says she angered team officials. They made it clear that upon my return home, I would definitely face some form of punishment, and that if I were to refuse to return home and would run in the 200-metre race, I would be fired and kicked out of the national team. There were also thinly disguised hints that more would await me. It was the fear of reprisals that forced her husband to flee to Ukraine with their child once the situation became clear. Now the Polish government has given him a humanitarian visa and made clear his wife and child are also welcome there. Many Belarusians have taken the path to Poland since President Alexander Lukashenko claimed victory in elections last year. Elections which observers both inside and outside Belarus say were fraudulent. Weeks of popular protests prompted President Lukashenko to crack down on dissent, with leading opposition figures arrested. Despite criticism from capital cities across the continent, EU sanctions and worldwide condemnation, his government has continued its suppression of dissidents. Now, one analyst says this case shows that even athletes are under scrutiny. The problem is that you don't have to be a politician, you don't have to be an activist uh, to, uh, to become pol uh, political. Everything is political if it's uh, just if, if it's public, if it's in the street or uh, online. She uh, openly criticized the decision of the Olympic team um, and they uh, tried to do it undone, which is of course in, in nowadays impossible. Timonovskaya had originally planned to fly directly to Warsaw from Tokyo, but a Polish government source says she changed her plans almost at the last minute for security reasons. Timonovskaya went to the Olympics to run for Belarus, but now she and her family are on the run from it. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Berlin.